Good morning Year 1s. Today for our maths learning we are going to be continuing our work with 3D shapes and tomorrow you will be making a 3D rocket as it will be the last day of our space topic and we want you to have some super fun. Um, today you need to design your rocket and so we need to think about which 3D shapes we will need to use for each part of the rocket. Hopefully your shape hunt will have helped you think about everyday objects and what shapes they are. So let's look at some real rockets to see their shapes. What can you see? Have a look. Tell your adult what 3D shapes can you see on these rockets? Can you see a cone shape at the top and a cylinder. Lots of cylinders on this one, isn't there? Mm. Ooh, what shape can you see here? Triangle shapes there, some 2D shapes. What about the flag? What shape is that? A rectangle. Oh, so we can see some 2D and some 3D shapes. So look at this drawing of a rocket. For each part, can you think about what 2D shapes you can see? So that's the flat shapes. And then you need to think about what objects you might use to make this design 3D. So let's have a look at the top. It's a triangle shape, isn't it? So what 3D shape could we create to make that sort of shape but fat? So we might want it to be a pyramid shape or we might want it to be a cone shape. So the top we could create a cone. You could roll up a piece of paper to help create a cone if you don't have some junk modelling which is a cone shape. Or you could use the top uh, part of an egg carton to go at the top. So let's look at the wings. So we could use pyramid shapes for that, couldn't we? Or more cones. Um, and you could use these from cardboard. You could cut them out of cardboard. Or you could just use triangle could, um, shapes for that. You could use 2D shapes. You could use a mixture of 2D and 3D. It's up to you. So the body would be really good if you used maybe a cylinder or you could use a cuboid if you wanted, if you wanted um, a hatch to open on your rocket. Um, cu you could use a cuboid or a really big cylinder like this. It would be great. Um, the boosters, you could use cylinders like empty toilet rolls. You could use things like yogurt pops for the windows for the portholes or for buttons that'd be great okay or you could use bottle tops too have a look at these designs look we've got some de designs here I can see some have cardboard tubes some cylinder shapes there and some plastic bottles we've got yogurt tops uh, yogurt pots and can you see the top of this one it's made out of it's a cone shape isn't it and I can see that's been created out of some blue card um, here are the cardboard wings that I was talking about this one's made out of a big bottle you could add a tissue paper to the bottom and I like this uh, porthole window and I love the foil that they've used to make it shiny it makes it look like it's metal here's a good example of a cone shape made out of paper or card okay so now we're going to watch um, a short video to get some ideas for how to make a rocket and this is mr maker which you love
try making a brilliant mini space rocket. Make it, play with it, have fun with it. To make one, you will need an empty tube, paint and a brush, card, scissors, glue, stickers, and a black pen. Take an empty tube and paint it with two colours of paint. Like this. Then take a circle of card and carefully make a cut up to the middle of it. Bend it around to make a cone and stick it in place with sticky tape. Now stick the cone onto the tube. Take some more card and cut out two triangle shapes like this. And stick these to the sides of your tube. Now stick on another circle of card to make a window. And add some coloured stickers for decoration. Finally, you can finish everything off with a black pen. And your mini space rocket is ready for takeoff. Look at it! It's out of this world! Fantastic! So that was a nice simple rocket design that you could create. And you didn't need um, many different things to create that really. The cone, um, you just drew a circle, cut a slit to the middle and then bend it round and it creates the cone. Um, you have a look for your recycling and you might find a cylinder, um, a tube in there to use for the body of your rocket. Okay. So your independent challenge today is to design your 3D rocket which you will make tomorrow. You need to ask an adult what junk modelling you have that's available at home to use. Um, and you must try to think of as many 3D shapes within your design. On your drawing, um, I'd like you to label the 3D shapes that you'll be using and think about how you'll be making that shape. For example, the cone that we just talked about. So here, here's a simple way to do your design. So you could draw it as 2D shapes, but then think about um, how you're going to make those into 3D shapes and then label it cone, cylinder, pyramid. Or if you're feeling super clever, then you can use your new skills that you learnt um, from the other day where you learnt how to draw 3D shapes and you could draw your design using 3D shapes in your drawings like this your cone, your cylinder and your pyramids. That'd be fantastic. Well done everybody. I hope you have fun. Tomorrow we're going to really enjoy making our rockets.